Hulk smash! And also make loud noises that have the ability to also smash. The superhero known as the Incredible Hulk is not only a master at creating rubble, he is an expert at generating pressure waves. But just how loud is Bruce Banner's famous thunderclap? It's not even loud. It's something else. The Incredible Hulk has a few super-powered moves, but my favorite has to be the Thunderclap. I like it because it's a clever use of super strength, something other than just jumping and punching. So, what kind of sound could produce what we see Hulk do in the comics and movies? This of course depends on what loudness is. The most common unit of measurement for loudness is decibels, which is a logarithmic unit relating a ratio. For decibels, that ratio is the difference between what is just audible for human hearing in terms of air pressure and the sound in question. It's a base 10 logarithmic unit just because of the wide range in human hearing from nothing to 10 trillion times that intensity and it's multiplied by 10 because the difference between one decibel and two decibel isn't really noticeable, so you need to increase it by 10 to give it more of a range. Nailed it. So, for example, if a mosquito flying a meter away from your face, maybe one decibel is 10 billion times quieter than a car stereo at full volume, then the car stereo is 100 decibels louder than the mosquito. But when we're talking about loudness, we're also talking about air pressure, which decibels relate to, specifically pressure waves. This is all sound is. Air molecules arranged into rows, or pressure waves, by some input of energy, like a whole clap, and then those waves hitting your eardrums and vibrating them at a certain rate. So how loud do the Hulk's claps need to be before they start smashing stuff? Let's take a look at what the Hulk has done with his applause. In the comics, Hulk's thunderclap has been described as a sonic boom, like a hurricane, and straight up lethal. We can put numbers to these examples, but first we have to move beyond sound as you're familiar with it. At a certain point, sound waves stop acting like a normal compression wave that leaves the surrounding air unchanged and start acting like a shock wave that heats up and moves the air around it as the particles moving through the air move faster than they otherwise would through the air. This certain point is 194 decibels. 60 decibels louder than front row at a rock concert when sound starts acting like a shock wave that the Hulk could use. 194 decibels sounds like a pound of TNT exploding that far away from me. Oh. So if this is where sound becomes a shockwave, let's go back to what we've seen the Hulk do and estimate how loud a thunderclap would be. Guys, I'm, I'm not, I didn't wear the stretchy pants. Don't come over here. At 195 decibels, human eardrums rupture 50% of the time. And at 202 decibels, sound alone can kill a person as the pressure waves enter the lungs and can rupture them and then you drown in your own blood. Am I, am I yelling? And it gets louder. If the Hulk's thunderclap is as loud as a sonic boom, like the comics say, comes in at 212 decibels, or what it would sound like if a metric ton of TNT exploded just a football field away. This is actually pretty close to the loudness of thunder itself at 215 decibels. Yes, that's right. If you were inside a thundercloud when thunder happened, you'd be dead. But by far, the loudest thunderclap that Hulk could produce would be one that had hurricane forces behind it. Hurricanes are immensely powerful. The common figure thrown about is that an average hurricane has the energy of a thousand nuclear bombs every second. But it doesn't obliterate the planet with this energy because it's spread out over hundreds of thousands of miles. If the Hulk's thunderclap was as loud as a hurricane could be, it would come in at 300 decibels and would easily be one of the loudest single sounds ever. So, 
The loudest Hulk's thunderclap could be is 300 decibels, loud enough to melt concrete. Loud enough that if the Hulk was in an open grassy field, his clap would ignite the grass a mile in every direction. When his hands came together, it would create heat and fog and eardrums would explode for miles around. That's why Hulk smash is never gonna be as cool, at least to me, as Hulk clap. Because science! And what about now? Am I yelling now? Are we, are, who's that? Thank you so much for watching. Remember to follow me on Twitter to give me suggestions about future episodes and on Instagram where you can now find additional rants and after credits kind of stuff, you know, like a Marvel franchise. What's funny to me about the Hulk's thunderclap is that it's so loud, even when it's not hurricane loud, that if he was trying to save everyone like he uh, did in the Eric Bana movie, he would come in and try to put the flames out with a clap and then everyone's ears would explode. Like all the time, <laughs> you'd know if a town was saved by the Hulk's thunderclap, everyone's just, what? No, he put out a fire. I mean, now that I think about it, I don't know if this was worth it, but uh, yeah, incredible. <laughs> and a very special thanks to Ubisoft and Watch Dogs 2 for sponsoring today's show. The open world action adventure game is out now on PS4 and Xbox One, available on PC 1129. If you've ever wanted to hack everything and feel like a superhero with anything you see as a potential weapon that's under your control, then you're gonna wanna check it out. I like the Hulk a lot. One problem though, you can't just get bigger. That mass has to come from somewhere. So because uh, matter can neither be, uh, neither be created or destroyed, that you can't, you can't just, I can't just become 500 pounds and eight feet tall. That mass has to come from somewhere. Uh, that hasn't been explained in any form that I've seen, um, aside from, you know, extra f mass dimensions and, and, and stuff like that. The same kind of explanation you need to have to keep those sweet pants on.